introduce myself. I'm Michael Grimes. I'm the head of physics at the college. My colleague, uh, Mr. Alex Campus, is here also. Um, I'm going to speak for perhaps five, seven minutes, just run through the course. I will primarily begin to talk by talking about, uh, about the department and particularly A level. But I appreciate that there might be some people in the uh, in the meeting that are interested in GCSE, and I will talk about GCSE towards the end. If you have some questions, there should be some an opportunity to ask those questions towards the end. But also feel free if and I'm not sure how this is going to work. If you put a, if you have a short question and put it into the chat, Mr. Campus, Alex can then um, answer that question for you, hopefully. But um, feel free just to hold on to your question and I will address them uh, myself and Mr. Campus will address them at the end. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. I have a PowerPoint that I wish to go through. Stay with me. Okay. Can I just check? Mr. Campus, can you just give me a wave that you can see the PowerPoint? Right, great. Okay. So, um, just to introduce myself. Um, here are the, some students, uh, nice photos that I found, some students doing some experiments. So, bear with me, sorry. Okay, so let's talk about the A-level course to begin with. We, at the college, we follow the WJC, Welsh Joint Education Committee course. Um, it's a two-year A-level course examined at the end of year 12 and year 13. What's, what's different about WJC, and one of the big benefits why we like it, is that those examinations at the end of year 12 count towards the final A-level grade. So at the end of year 12, students sit an examination unit one and unit two, and those, those marks are put in the bank. So 40% of the full A-level is decided upon at the end of the first year, as opposed to the, the full weighting being at the end of year 13. Year 13, the A2 year, you can see we have unit three and unit four, which are theory um, examinations, and unit five is based upon practical examination and, um, and data analysis skills. Um, if, if you would like more information about the course itself, the, the curriculum, for example, uh, I would suggest if you just Google WJC and it, it's the first one and then just drop down menu, go to physics and you can see the course. Very quickly, sorry, I'm just admitting people, right. Sorry, very quickly, um, I particularly like the WJC course. It's a nice, well-rounded course that addresses a lot of different topics across the, uh, the spectrum of um, fields within physics itself. Um, from particle physics up to stars and astronomy, astrophysics, um, a lot of classical physics, but also a lot of modern topics in there that students find particularly interesting because it, it, these are the topics that we see um, in the news um, from time to time. You can so you can see yourself the topics covered. Okay, teaching students receive seven forty-five minute sessions per week. This is broken, uh, for theory teaching, sorry, this is broken down into three doubles and a single. So essentially the theory teaching comes down to three double, which is one and a half hour lessons, and then usually a single, where, uh, which is generally sort of a tutorial session um, when we look at examination questions. Um, one of the things that I really feel helps the students is that we have um, a laboratory session, sort of a ring fence laboratory session per week where we go through students' um, experimental skills, their data analysis skills, um, experimental physics methodology, um, which um, consolidates a lot of the theory that we teach in the theory teaching, but also develops those um, practical skills for that examination in A2. Um, this is a lot more time face-to-face with students than a lot of other institutions. It means that we can not just teach the theory, it means that we can do that extra layer of developing their problem solving, their thinking skills, their examination technique, their practical skills, so that we can spend more time with the students, develop them as better physicists. Um, okay. I believe we have the best resources in the country. Uh, the students always give us very, very positive feedback on our resources. 
We, in fact, we run three websites, uh, which essentially we give the students these links that they can log in, they go to these websites, and all of our resources are available for them, from notes, um, examination uh, questions, mark schemes, um, previous tests, et cetera, et cetera. Everything they need is in one place. And I'm always, the students, they have access to everything that they need from the start. So those students that want to look ahead and start um, revising for, for, for lessons that might be in the future, or they want to go back in, in sort of April and they want to go back and look at all their notes, it's all in one website. When I say there's three, because we have one for IGCSE, AS, A2. So, so everything I've just said is also applicable to those people who are interested in the GCSE course. Okay, so as I said, we run a site where we put all the resources. We have a full set of notes. They are written by a, a very talented member of the department, not me. Um, and they are bespoke written, not just for the WJC course, but for the way we teach and for the students that we teach. So it's, it's not like we give them a textbook and the textbook is a generic textbook. It is bespoke written for the students, for the college, for the way we teach. Um, and you can see just these two examples that are screenshotted here. Um, you know, we have theory with diagrams, lots of diagrams, you know, pictorial um, diagrams generally, I think, really just help. And then with um, embedded questions along the way. Um, we do a lot of question work, developing that problem solving, that numerical, um, logical reasoning. Um, and similarly, uh, the same, we give lots of past paper questions for students. And we, we give them the masters. We encourage, apart obviously from the homeworks and the tests, we encourage them to self-assess and peer review, uh, peer um, assess their work. Um, we do a lot of that. We also take time to do simulations, um, data analysis using spreadsheets. Um, th these skills that we believe are important for them, they may not go on to do engineering or physics in university, but we, we look to develop the skills that are applicable to a wide field of different universities, uh, university courses. Okay. So, the IGCSE course, it's Edexcel International GCSE, it's the course, one of the modern courses that are graded one through nine, as opposed to a, um, a letter grade. So, uh, it, we run it as a one-year IGCSE course at the moment. Um, I believe that there's a two-year, but that's something that you would need to uh, discuss with admissions and marketing. Uh, there are two examination papers at the end of the year. Now, this is the, the essential content. We chose Edexcel because we believe, again, it's a well-rounded course. More than anything, looking at the courses and comparing them, we believe that this is a, a, probably one of the better courses as an introduction, uh, as a base for A-level physics. Okay? And again, you can see there, you know, some of the traditional classical physics, forces, motions, electricity, but also some of the more modern stuff, radioactivity, astro, a little bit of particles in there as well. Okay? As I've just said, uh, GCSE, we run a, a, um, a website where students just log in, all the resources are available to them. Uh, and again, everything I've just said about A-Level is applicable here. We have our own notes written and, and collated by members of the department with integrated um, theory notes. This, this is essentially their textbook. They don't need a textbook because we give them everything. Um, so it, embedded questions, experiments, data analysis, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Finally, some of the stuff extracurricular we do in the department, because um, it's not just about teaching the, the students the physics and then getting them through the exam. We want to develop them and, and, and hopefully they'll go on and they'll, they'll appreciate physics and engineering um, as they go on through their lives, even if they don't do physics and engineering. Um, so to go through these, um, EESW is an engineering scheme run in Wales. And essentially what happens is that a professional engineer comes into the department, presents a problem to the students. Uh, sorry, presents a um, engineering problem to the students and they have to research, develop a, a solution to that, write a report and um, sometimes produce a prototype and then present that back to a panel of engineers. Excuse me. 
Um, we also run competitions such as the British Physics Olympiad, so students have the opportunity to sit that examination. Also, the American Association of Physics Teachers, they have something called an American Bowl, where they, um, and, and then similar to the Olympiad, a lot of us um, receive gold awards, silver, bronze, etc. Et um, my colleague, Mr. Campus, he's been involved over previous years in a space settlement design competition um, linked to NAFTA. Um, we also do competitions such as, such as the British Educational um, Association. Um, and also, and a disclaimer here, obviously with the current uh, climate, uh, it is still unknown whether we can go through this uh, this year, but we have in previous years run a trip to Switzerland to see CERN, the Large Hadron Collider, uh, the world's largest laboratory. Okay, so just to recap, just very, very quickly, I'll just weave, excuse me, just to recap, just want to talk about the A-level course, any more information on the WJC site, it's a fantastic course, I really like it, um, we give them a lot of teaching, resources are given to them, fantastic quality resources, we spend a lot of time developing their skills around the physics course as well, so it's applicable to other university courses. Um, Similarly, the GCSE course, great course, nice introduction, nice foundation upon which to um, feed into A-level physics, um, and then some of the extracurricular things we do. We also, actually I say we, we encourage the students, they run a physics and engineering society where students uh, present to each other on different matters uh, uh, within physics that they have um, researched, and in that way they can uh, develop each other's skills. Okay, that is all I wanted to say. Has anybody got any questions that they'd like to ask? Mr. Campus, would you like to add anything? Or are you happy with all that? Is there anything I've missed? No, I think um, you've, um, you've covered everything. Um, I, I want to stress the fact that the resources uh, we we use are unique. Um, they're written from scratch and as Mr. Grimes said, um, to reflect the way we teach. And that includes not just the, uh, um, the theory that is covered, but also the, the graphics are bespoke. Um, we produce our own models, mathematical models, and as such simulations that we use. And um, a big part of our department's work includes um, using uh, IT uh, during teaching and um, for data analysis uh, and representation. So um, uh, the department is very strong in uh, using uh, uh, spreadsheets uh, and computer techniques to analyze and um, produce results. Um, so it is uh, an embedded part of our department. We also uh, um, encourage our students to uh, run clubs that include programming, uh, use of Raspberry Pis. Um, so we, we do believe we are sitting at the cutting edge of what is happening. And we do produce students who are ready to go to university with a number of skills, not just physics, uh, with a number of skills that include um, uh, computer um, aptitude. Uh, so that is something we, we, we would like to, um, to also offer to our students. So we, you should be ready to take advantage of this. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Campus. Completely agree. Anybody like to ask any questions? I'm just going to stop share my screen now. Anybody like to ask any questions? I appreciate that we've overrun a little bit and some of you may be looking to get to the next uh, meeting. If you do have some questions, uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm pretty confident that um, if you direct your email to marketing, they'll be able to pass it on to myself. I believe there's a question in the chat. Yes, Ms. Wong. Is physics a compulsory subject study in GCC? Yes, I believe it is. I believe that all students come into the college, they, they, have, they have to do um, the three sciences, maths, um, English. 
but I would direct that question to admissions. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. As I said, any questions, email uh, marketing and admissions and I'm sure they'll pass it on. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I hope the rest of the meeting goes well for you.